You know how sometimes you start something and it became something totally different than what you expected? That's kind of like what happened to one of my clients. Uh, when she first came to me, she's never ever touched a barbell in her life to where last November, we went to her first powerlifting meet. And I think there's gonna be a lot more to come in her lifting career. That's right, her lifting potentially career. In this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my client's journey to where she just came to me wanting to learn how to just move her body to participating in powerlifting. We're gonna talk about in this video just kind of what to expect at a powerlifting event in terms of the different federations you can participate in, the rules, raw, equipped, just those kind of things that help you prep for your first powerlifting event. Uh, so uh, hopefully you find this video helpful uh, and make everything really smooth during your first event. A little bit about the backstory of my client. So like I said earlier, when she first came to me, she really just wanted to learn how to move her body. Of course, our main focus is strength and conditioning along with coordination, balance, agility, and such. We went on that journey and soon enough, she started lifting a lot and very heavy really quick and that's pretty common among beginners but for her she just caught on really quick so one day i mentioned hey do you know what powerlifting is so i kind of explained to her what it is and uh what she has to do and she was like yeah i'm down for that so our training program shifted towards that to where you know we focus on well, of course with powerlifting if you don't know, powerlifting is three specific moves in this order. It is a barbell back squat, barbell bench press, and the deadlift in that order. So we started training for her very first powerlifting meet. When you're ready to sign up for your first event, there's really two federations you sign up for. One is IPF and the other one is USA Powerlifting. The main difference between the two is IPF, you have categories where you are natural as well as you could say equipped, but you know, on gear. Um, and then you have USA powerlifting, which is 100% natural, no doping allowed. So of course we went with the USA powerlifting. Also USA powerlifting is associated with things like the Arnold Classic. So if eventually down the road, if this is something you wanna make a career out of, you can qualify for the Arnold going through USA powerlifting. With my client, we signed her up for the 75 kilogram category. At the time she weighed in at 77 when we signed up. So she had to kind of modify her, uh, her diet in order to kind of, you know, get under that limit. So she cut out a lot of sugar. It was hard, but she did it. Anyways, so we signed her up for the 75 kilogram category. We signed her up for raw. So there's raw and there's equipped. With raw, you're only allowed to use certain items, wrist wraps, knee sleeves, a belt, a singlet, really that's it. Uh, with equipped, you're allowed to use a lot more different equipment. Now let's move on to the day of the event. So when you get to your facility, you're gonna need to check in. When they check in, you're gonna need to show them the things that you brought. Like I said, we're doing raw. So when you're doing raw, these are the things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a lifting belt, wrist wraps, knee sleeves, a singlet, can't wear leggings, so you need to bring a singlet. You also wanna bring some knee-high socks. Cool socks, there. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and blue. Now you can bring weightlifting shoes if you want to, but it's not required. You can just wear your socks if you want to. You don't need to bring any chalk. There'll be plenty of that at the facility. However, what you do wanna bring is actually some baby powder. What's that for, you ask? Great question. So, when you're doing deadlifts, you wanna rub that baby powder on your thighs. So this one, when you're pulling that weight off the floor, this way it can kinda of glide along your thighs easily and smoothly. Because if you do hitch, it's against the rules and it won't count. Don't want that to happen to you. After you checked in, you get to go to the back, you know, set your things down, get ready for the weigh-ins. Yes, the weigh-ins. Get ready to strip down to your birthday suit. So, because you may need to do that if you're really coming in close to that limit. Of course, it's done in private. If you need some uh, female, male, they'll be available to you 
but to do the weigh-ins. After you weighed in, then you probably wanna chow down, right? Bring some snacks, bring some carbs. You're gonna need it. It's gonna be a long day, depending on how many groups there is, uh, it could be a long day. So you wanna make sure that you are properly fueled um, for this event. Once you're checked in, you wait in, you put some fuel in your body, now it's time to just have some fun. Rolling. Camera's rolling. Hammy's rolling. Right? You're gonna warm up, get on deck, hear your name called, go do your lifts. All right, hopefully, you know, you're gonna have some friends, some family members to cheer you on. If you don't, don't worry. The powerlifting community is a very kind and accepting community. All right? There's gonna be, you're probably gonna meet a lot of good people that's gonna like the same things that you like, that you can really, you know, connect and socialize with and, you know, talk about whatever you wanna talk about when it comes to weightlifting. The main thing, especially for your first meet, is just to go and have fun. Our first place finisher, Lexi Hey, Lexi! Let's give Lexi a round of applause. All righty, everyone, look at every 5,000 camera in the audience and smile. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you'd like to see more of these videos, go ahead and hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.